soft traction bars. Uh, the slapper bars I had on there, those that go up to the front leaf spring eye did not work. They would still make it hop. So what I did is I turned them around and put them on the uh, leaf spring just like normal, but they're the the tube was facing back this way. And I drilled a hole that was part of the uh, plastic piece that allows it to slide on each other without wearing the metal down. Drilled the hole through the top leaf spring, the lane leaf spring there, on both sides, and then I got, um, with the hanger kit that I got, you get longer bolts and some bushings and some big washers that hold the bushings together for a sway bar for the Lightning, I believe, or an F-150 that has a front sway bar on it. Might be a rear sway bar, I don't remember. So, I just drilled the holes, put the bolt through there, and then put it to the uh, back side here, and just tightened it up a little bit, and that worked okay. Um, every other, every couple of times I got on it, it would hop, and I had to get at it and get back on it again. And after I did that, it was fine. Um, so I just... Well, that also looked really cool because it pulled the rear end down, so if you're just driving like this or at a stoplight and you gas it, it would really get low in the rear end like it's getting something done. Um, it would have felt really cool inside too because the whole front of the right, left front of the truck would go up as you got on it. So I was tired of messing around with that, so I got uh, some pipe that we had laying in the back that is eighth inch. It might be uh, a sixteenth. That's a sixteenth, not an eighth. This pipe is what they, you use to hold the garage door down in a hurricane. You know, down here in the south, we got hurricanes. Um, so I just cut that up, drilled a bolt hole. Uh, the brackets are three sixteenths steel. This might be, that's that's quarter inch actually. Got that from welding class. Class, not class. Uh, and I made my own little bracket up there. We'll go up there and look at that. Don't look at this right here because I didn't completely grind the, the cutoff with the torch. It doesn't look too good, but that's alright. I just need it to function. I want to come back under here and clean it up again. As you can still see, there's some primer there that I didn't get off the brake line. So we'll go over here to the front mount. I should go to the other side because the exhaust is on this side. But... It will all be all right, and the weld on the other side is way better, but that's all right. So I made these two brackets here, and then I made this plate, and I welded this plate to the lowering, uh, shoot, the lowering hanger kit from Belltech. It lowers it three or four inches in the back. Uh, it makes it level. That's what I wanted. I don't want it to like a Carolina squad that looks stupid. You know what I'm talking about if you've been on Facebook. And then I bolted, I made the plate go back to the frame, and then I bolted it to the frame because there was two holes there too, so I might as well just utilize those to really stiffen this up here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and give the frame some rigidity, even though there is a cross member right here, right in line with that. So you can see the cross member there. Yeah, there's my train horns. Horn blasters. Uh, uh, air tank is up there. Right there. So. Oh yeah, and the hole, there's two holes there because I drilled it in the wrong spot in the first place because I didn't measure it right. It's a good inch and a half off because I measured it from the back side of the axle. So this is what I did. I took a piece of string with a weight on it, a fishing weight, the pyramid weights, and I dropped it over the back of the axle, and I measured from that up to that bolt there, or where I wanted it to be. So I forgot to take an inch and a half off, because this is three inch tubing. So, that's how that got screwed up. Um, yeah, it works. No wheel hop, run 15 pounds on tires all day, every day. Don't change them. I need to get some 
fatter tires for it. I need to get some fatter tires and lower it even further. I'd like to get, hold on, let me get up there and I'll show you. I'd like to get the tire within two inches of the wheel well on both the front and the back. And right now we got a good, good hands width there. That's, I need to go down half of that width to get to make it look really good. Um, another rant, this is more of a, a product that I really like. Uh, I'll go get it real quick. All right, so product number one, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating. I can't explain to you how well this stuff works or what they have used. I know it's SiO2. I've tried to look that up. I, I didn't get really anywhere with it. Uh, amazing stuff. Same thing here. I only bought this because I didn't want to use Dawn on this. And plus, you can layer this. So I sprayed this on. Well, before we even get to that, I waxed it with Turtle Wax Cleaner Wax, the red jar, the paste wax. And then I sprayed this on it, and then I let it sit for a week, washed it again with this. I washed it with the Turtle Wax Wash and Wax. And now, I'm just going to show you how well the water beads on my truck here. So, I'm just going to do this, and look at that. Look at that, that is just amazing. I have polished it, this is original paint. So if you just kinda... Do that, it just kinda disappears. Yeah, that might be a better thing. It just disappears, like it doesn't even exist. They sprayed it on the rims too, it will look pretty good. Um, Tire cleaner. I use bleach white. Uh, it's for white walls, but it also works on black um, tires. Uh, for the tires, I just use my hand and the that soap. And to make it shiny, I use Trinova, which is a um, some it might be Meguiar's. It's either Meguiar's Turtle Wax or the other big. Car, manu car product manufacturer that makes it. But it works really well. You put it on a towel, it's white, and you just wipe it around the tire and let it dry and then go drive it around. Doesn't sling, doesn't uh, get all over the place, and it works really well. So that's my rant. I haven't uploaded a video in almost six months. Sorry. But I just thought I'd show you all the traction bars and another update on the paint of how well it looks. It looks, just looks amazing. It looks way better in person than it does on the video. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, and the guy that did this, that I bought it from, I watched a video on YouTube. His name's Project Farm. If you don't know him, please go follow him. He does a pretty good job of comparing different things. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next in the next video.